Now I know for sure that this works. How? Personal experience. What if I told you, you can finally quit procrastinating without having to think about not procrastinating? For your first test, choose the red M&M and watch this entire video without procrastinating or choose the blue M&M and procrastinate whatever it is you're doing and watch this entire video. You don't procrastinate because you're lazy or because you lack willpower or because you don't have what it takes. You procrastinate simply because of this thing called the lizard brain. Brain, 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 brain. So what exactly is the lizard brain? The lizard brain is the oldest part of our brain. It's also the most primal. It's basically what helped our earliest ancestors, the cavemen, survive against their harsh environment and against wild animals. It's driven purely by instinct. It lives in the now moment and nothing else. If you're hungry, it tells you, go eat. If you're tired, it says, go rest. If you're scared of something, it says, well, fight against it or run away. Now, this can definitely be useful when, say, there's a bus coming towards you and you just need to get out of the way. This is the part of the brain responsible for that. In short, the lizard brain protects us. I should probably get up now and go to the gym. But it's cold outside and warm in the bed. Stay in, go tomorrow. Okay. I should cook something and save money. That'll take so much time. Just get McDonald's. Okay. I should probably send this email right now since the future of the company depends on it. There's still five minutes left. Let's look at some memes instead. Okay. So in simple terms, how the lizard brain makes us procrastinate is when we when we think about any difficult thing or task we need to do or we have to do and even if we know the more developed part of our brain tells us that doing these things is for our own good and will benefit us the lizard brain sees these uncomfortable thoughts these difficult decisions as actual threats and responds in the best way it knows how by keeping us safe and telling us the only way out of this danger is to not do those things. Don't do that thing which makes you uncomfortable. So we put it off. So how do we tell our lizard brain to go away? So how do you overcome this? Well, flat out fighting the lizard brain with the power of self-motivation is pretty tiring. You might be able to resist for five minutes, an hour, a day, maybe even a week, but eventually your willpower will begin to fade and you'll just give in. Just think back to all those times you mentally wanted and forced yourself to stick to a diet or begin working out. You might do it for a while, but it doesn't last, does it? The best way to defeat the lizard brain is through Bargaining. I've come to bargain. What's your offer? Number one, make the task more achievable. So how exactly? Well, do the first step or make it as easy as possible to start. If you need to start getting up in the morning to go to the gym and work out, the thought of getting out of bed, putting on your gym clothes, going to gym, working out for an hour is very difficult. The thought of working out for an hour is difficult. Thinking of getting out of bed and changing into your gym clothes is moderately difficult. But getting your feet out of bed and touching the ground is easy. That's manageable. And that's where you should start. Once you're there, think of the next step. If you need to have a difficult talk with someone and you've been playing it over and over in your head, but you keep avoiding it because we avoid conflict, don't we? But for one thing, it's not gonna go away. Number two, it's already causing you so much stress. 
and the longer you put it off, it's gonna keep causing more stress. So what you could do is maybe send them a text saying, hey, could we please meet up and talk? And once that text is sent, that's it. It's hard, but at least you'll start prepping yourself for the actual talk. Because with procrastination, the main reason it happens to us is because we fail to get started. Once you've started doing whatever it is you needed to do, it's much easier to continue doing it. Number two, the power of nights and mornings. If there's a task you really, really need to get done for the next day, think about what exactly you're going to do the night before. And when you wake up the next day, do it as early as possible. Ideally, first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up. This is because the chances of you actually completing that task is much higher if you finish it in the morning. You might have noticed with several things, the longer the day goes on, the lesser your motivation to actually do things is. We never know how our days are going to turn out or life just happens. You might have plans to go out in the evening or go work out in the gym, but you might have also had a really hard work day. And the thought of doing those other things just seems more difficult at the end of the day. Now, I know for sure that this works. How? Personal experience. For the past two weeks, I have been waking up at 5.30 and going to the gym to work out. Now, you might be thinking, oh, you go to the gym in the morning to work out. Big deal. It is a big deal. You know why? Because I have never, ever, ever, ever been a morning person. I used to tell myself, I used to tell everyone, I. I just can't get up in the morning. I prefer working out in the evening after work. It helps me relieve stress, blah, blah, blah. But so what made me change years of my routine and start working out in the morning? Well, ever since I've started making these videos, I've been thinking of more ideas, more ideas, but not enough time to work upon them as I would like. And with the evening workouts, by the time that I got back home, I didn't have much time else to except eat dinner and maybe go to sleep soon. So I thought, what can I do about this? So I took a major part of my day, a workout, and I did that even before I got to my office. Finishing a major task before starting work gave me so much more time in the evening to work on my videos and do anything else that I was interested in. So it really works. So for the third and final tip that I have for you guys, picture the result. Whatever task you're setting out to do, getting out of bed, working out, a diet, whatever it is, picture the final end goal, the result. A reason that a lot of us don't go through these things is because we want the result, but the process just seems really long and tiring. So that's when we picture the result and do the first step. Because once you do that first step, it'll be easier to get to the next step and easier to get to that final result. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. These are tips that I have used myself and I hope you find them useful also. If you like what you see here, cool. like and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Cheers.